a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Henri Kamara Henri Kamara is a Senegalese footballer who plays for Ionico's FC as a striker. Early career Kamara was born in Dakar to a Guinean father and a Senegalese mother. He began his career in France with RC Strasbourg, before playing for Swiss clubs Neuchâtel Zermax and Grasshopper Club Zurich, where he won the Swiss Championship in 2001. He then returned to France with Sedan, but sought a new move when they were relegated in 2003. Wolverhampton Wanderers Kamara joined newly promoted English Premier League club Wolverhampton Wanderers in August 2003 in a four-year deal for £1.5 million. He was a regular first-choice player, capable of creating goal-scoring opportunities, but often guilty of erratic finishing that left him with just one goal from 23 games, this goal being the crucial winner as Wolves came back from three down at half-time to beat relegation rivals Leicester City 4-3. Towards the end of the season, he found his scoring touch and struck six times in the final nine games. While this could not prevent relegation, he was named the Fans Player of the Year. However, Kamara was unwilling to play at a lower level, and did not turn up for pre-season training. His future was further unsettled by a bid from Phil Gartside, Bolton Wanderers chairman, which Wolves chief executive Jez Moxie rejected. He eventually returned to the club, but only to negotiate a loan move away. Celtic and Southampton loans. Kamara's route out of Wolves came in the form of Celtic, who paid £1.5 million to take him on loan for the 2004-05 season. His time in Scotland was disappointing, though, as he scored eight goals from 12 starts and six substitute appearances. Kamara claimed in the press that he would replace Henrik Larsson, who had just left the club. He also requested Larson's squad number which he had had at a previous club as well, but was instead given number 27. The loan deal was terminated during the January 2005 transfer window despite being contracted for longer, as he moved back to England with Southampton. Here, he suffered relegation again as the Saints made the drop on the final day of the season. Wigan Athletic Kamara finally found a new permanent club when he was signed by Premiership newcomers Wigan Athletic in August 2005 in a three-year deal for £3 million. In 2006, his contract was extended to 2009 due to his outstanding goal-scoring form. He had a great time playing with Jason Roberts as they linked well. He again found himself in a Premier League relegation battle but it ended third time lucky for him as Wigan made a last-day escape at the expense of Sheffield United. After Wigan manager Paul Jewell's resignation, Kamara found himself out of favour at Wigan and he was loaned out to West Ham United for the duration of the 2007-08 season. At the end of the summer transfer window, by his own admission, he has had a torrid time at West Ham and wants to preferably find another club in England. Despite allowing him to leave on loan Steve Bruce suggested that if Kamara wanted to stay at Wigan he was more than welcome to. Kamara scored a brace in his first game back for Wigan under Bruce in the 4-0 win in the League Cup over Notts County. He then scored the match winner against Everton in a 1-0 victory for Wigan at the JJB Stadium on 24 November 2008, their first win against Everton on home soil. He scored again against West Bromwich Albion the following match. Whilst at Wigan he started in the 2006 Football League Cup final. On 2 February 2009, Kamara joined Stoke City on loan until the end of the season in search of regular first-team football. He missed a glaring opportunity straight after coming off the bench for his debut at Sunderland, smashing a volley from six yards against the bar, with the entire goal to aim for. He was released by Wigan at the end of the 2008-09 season, after not being offered a new contract. Kamara spent much of the 2009 close season on trial at Premier League club Hull City, but was not offered a contract. Sheffield United After initially rejecting a deal with the Blades, Kamara signed a short-term agreement with the Sheffield club until the end of the season. Kamara made his debut in a 4-3 loss to Cardiff City at the end of October and scored his first goal for the club in a 1-0 win over Peterborough United a month later. He made 23 appearances that season, often from the bench, and scored four goals, but was released when his contract expired as the club sought to cut the wage bill.
Panatolikos. On 19 June 2011, Kamara signed a one-year deal with Greek Super League side Panatolikos, despite appearing in all 30 league games, and being Panatolikos' top scorer for the season with seven goals, he couldn't help his team avoid relegation. Camaro signed another one-year deal with Panatolikos on 27 August 2012, and, by scoring 10 goals in the regular season and three goals in the playoffs, helped the team return to the Greek Super League after only one year at the Greek Football League. In the summer of 2013, he signed a third one-year deal with Panatolikos. Panatolikos On 18 August 2015, Kamara returned to Panatolikos FC signing a one-year contract. On 18 January 2016 Kamara and Panatolikos FC parted ways, having received an offer from Apollon Smyrny FC Kamara asked for his contract with Panatolikos FC to be terminated, in an attempt, to get more playing time and reach 100 Senegal caps. International career Kamara made his international debut for Senegal in a 1-1 African Cup of Nations qualifier against Nigeria on 28 February 1999. He went on to play in their surprising run at the 2002 World Cup, scoring two goals won a golden goal in the round of 16 against Sweden, which took them to the quarter-finals for the only time in their history. He was also part of the 2000, 2002, 2004, 2006 and 2008 Africa Cup of Nations squads. Kamara also featured in Ronald Nho's squad for a charity football match. The match was between Europe and the rest of the world. Kamara came on as a substitute and scored two goals in the second half of the game to help his team take the victory. Internationally, Kamara could have played for Guinea as his father was born in Guinea. On choosing Senegal, he explained, I was born in Senegal, but my father is from Guinea, so, yes, I could have played with Momo Silla in the Guinea national team. When I was young, I received an invitation from the Senegal youth team and my dad didn't want me to play. His dream was for me to play for Guinea. But I didn't know Guinea very well. Senegal was my country, so it was an easy decision for me to make. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?